Here we are at the protest outside the Sweet Hotel in Kirby. This is the locals who are opposed to the, uh, not all the migrants, but certainly the one who approached uh, a 15 year old girl. That's what's caused the initial response, and it's snowballed. There's thousands of people here. And apparently we're all uh, we're all far right fascists according to some idiots. There's the police there, they're just outnumbered, they can't stop anything. And there's people with placards held up. We'll have a little look what they say, but We got placards up saying keep our kids safe. It's a fantastic to keep our kids safe. Someone even wearing a, a sweatshirt with that slogan. But the hotel surrounded as far as I can see here by local people opposed. So I think the police van's getting into a little bit of trouble there now. Hey, look at the van look. John! Now I don't know how many people the police thought were going to turn up, but they're, they're outnumbered. And here we are outside the suite hotel, as you can see there, there's a police presence, certainly. In fact, there's quite a strong police presence there, one police van, police car, another police van, police car. And a few police standing outside there. I don't know what do you think the local people are going to do, it's not like we're going to be turning into the hotel and dragging them out. We're just protesting peacefully. Looks like some people may have got a bit over enthusiastic, throwing a few things at the police there, but I think they underestimated the response from local people there. I can't see any council protesters, any people supporting these people. By the sounds of that, I think someone's putting in the window on a police van.
but it shows you how strong the local response is here. In fact, I'll have to stand back myself now in case I get something thrown at me.